After weeks of searching for a new job, I finally got one! I work at the front desk at the motel. Apparently, the owner has been having trouble keeping employees because of a video the previous owner left. But he won't let anyone see it. Stay until the end of the video to see how I discover the truth. It's a new day in Brookhaven and today is a super, super exciting day because I got my new job at the motel and yeah, I've been trying to get a job for quite some time and I did get a job at Starbucks coffee, but I messed up the coffee so many times that I got fired. Then I also tried to be a, uh, you know, help to the pilots on the plane and serve food to all the passengers, but I accidentally poisoned someone with some old nuts that should have been thrown out. So I got fired from there too. Now I finally got it job at the motel and I feel like this is the perfect job for me because I just have to sit at the front desk. How many people actually have to come to the front desk? I mean only when they check in and check out but other than that most of the days are gonna be pretty relaxing. I'm gonna sit down, lay back down on my chair and, and, and be on my phone and on my computer and watch series. Yep. So I'm pretty excited about that job. It seems pretty relaxing, pretty chill. So, mm-hmm, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. But it's the first day of work and I do not want to be late, of course. I definitely do not want to be late. Speaking about getting a job at the motel, apparently I saw somewhere, I overheard some people talking about getting fired from the motel and that the motel has gotten quite a lot of new workers recently but also fired them a lot so I definitely need to try to work my best and make sure I don't get fired because I really cannot afford to lose this job I mean I've gone to every single job possible in Brookhaven and no one likes me but I'm sure this will turn out amazing <laughs> I'd like to make a noise complaint Oh, oh, I, I should probably wait outside while they're <laughs> while they're having a conversation. Oh, sure, what's wrong? I don't want to disturb them while they're, you know, having a conversation. The room to our right is so loud, we can't even sleep. I'm really sorry about that. I'll look into it immediately. Yes, please, tell them to be quiet. Okay, um... Okay, so some noise complaints. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with that too, not just checking in, checking out. <laughs> I sure will. Sorry again. It's very annoying. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with that, but oh well, I guess I will. Hello, my name is Santa, and I was hired for the front desk job here at the motel. I am so excited. Oh, great, you're here. Oh, by the way, I, I, I'm I, sorry, but I couldn't help but overhear you uh, getting a noise complaint. Does that happen often? Also, where's the chair? I thought I would be able to lay back in my chair and watch some TV. Yeah, ever since that stupid video came out. Stupid video? Wait, what video? What are you talking about? All we get is noise complaints from room three. Room three? So why don't you kick out the people living in room three if they're making the other guests so annoyed that's the thing the room is always empty wait so no one is staying at room three but there is so much noise coming out of it exactly well it must be a plumbing problem you know the toilet might be broken the shower could maybe the last person who was there didn't turn the shower off maybe maybe they left the radio on maybe the tv is on i mean there must be something i've looked at everything well, maybe there's something in the tubes. I mean, or do you think that there's rats? Since there was another complaint, I need you to check it out. Oh, yeah. Sure, I can do that. But about that video, though, could I check it out? Like, I want to see what everyone's talking about. No, I don't want it going around even more. Oh, okay, I guess. It's bad for business. Okay, I guess. All right, well, I'll go check out room number three. Thank you. Here's the key. Okay, thank you. Uh, I've got my flashlight, some uh, work equipment in case there is something that needs fixing. Not that I'm a pro at all, but a hammer, you're just supposed to hit things with it, right? And then it'll work. So I'll figure it out. Okay, room number five, four, three. Here we go, here it is. Oh yeah, no one is living here. Well, okay, let's go check it out, I guess. Um, okay, I don't hear anything in here. 
Could it be any dead people under the, under the bed? I guess not. There's no room under the bed for anyone dead. Hmm. Unless they're cremated. This is inappropriate, isn't it? Okay, let's... Oh, a computer. Well, everything seems to be off. Um, anything in the closet? Oh, I can't open this closet for some reason. Okay, what about the bathroom? Oh, no. Everything seems to be really clean and... Yeah. Let me try to use the, the wa hand wash a little bit. The sink. Yeah, it seems to be working. And the shower. Oh, yeah. The shower seems to be working, too. Yep. I don't understand. What could the problem be? Well, I don't hear anything now that I'm in here. And they were complaining about noise. I don't know. Everything seems to be fine to me. All right. Well, I'm gonna lock this up. Stupid video. I need to get it deleted. Oh, hello there. I I checked the room and it seemed... It's like you said. Everything is completely fine. So, I don't see a problem. Everything was working. The faucet was working. The shower was working. No bodies under the bed. Thanks for checking. Yeah, you're welcome. And the TVs were all turned off, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing's wrong. Do you think that... I don't know. Could it be something inside of the wall that's making noise? Like, I, I don't understand. So, what do you want me to do now? Anything I can help with? Anything? Anything? I'll have you take over the front desk. I need to run a few errands. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So make sure to lock up. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, when when should I lock up exactly? Around 10. 10 p.m. Okay, sounds good. If you need anything, just call. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Oh, <sighs> this job. Wow, it is not the most fun job I've ever done. I feel like Starbucks coffee was more fun than this. They're standing here waiting to see if there's anyone that's gonna come. I mean, oof. what time is it? 9.08. Okay, well, I guess I don't have to work much longer. And then I get to go home. Wait. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this. It's the video. It's in a folder here. Secret video? Wait, should I open it? I mean... Because I'm going to be working here, don't you think it is appropriate for me to know what's going on? Is there something dangerous? Maybe a danger to me? Should I not know what's going on in this video? I feel like it's highly inappropriate for me to not know of this video. So, do you guys think I should check it out? Do you think so? I think I should. I mean, it's only fair for me to see the video because I work here now and I've been working here for a long time. So, yeah, let's check it out right now. Ooh, excuse me. How can I help you? We're staying in room two when the room next to us is very noisy. We can't rest at all. It's very frustrating. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll look into it immediately. This seems like the same complaint as today. Thank you. Huh. Very strange. Ugh, this is the fifth complaint I've gotten today. I need to get to the bottom of this. It's hurting business. Oh no. Room one and two are taken in. Room one isn't even there right now. So that means it has to be coming from room three. Let's see if someone's in there. There's no one here. Why is the bathroom light on? Again, there's no one here. How odd. Oh my gosh, do you see that person behind them? Ah, what was that? Hello? Maybe the motel is haunted? Oh my gosh, well, who is that? Three hours later, did you see that person behind them? Someone called looking for a room. So I need to make sure room three is clean. Hopefully if the motel is haunted, it stops messing with my customers. Okay, he's going on to clean. Sweep, sweep, sweep the floor. Make it squeaky clean. Talking. Well, what is that? Is someone's here. I need to hide. <gasps> Who is in the hotel? Oh my god, it's Mr. Brookhaven. It's Mr. Brookhaven. I can't keep staying in the vacant motel rooms. No, people are starting to get suspicious, especially the owner. Yes, please come get me so I can relocate. What? Mr. Brookhaven has been staying in my my hotel motel rooms? I, I I don't understand. Maybe I should report this. Wait, I don't understand. Why have I not heard about this before? If Mr. Brookhaven is staying in these motel rooms and not saying anything, 
You know Mr. Brookhaven could be a danger to us all. And I don't know if I want to work here anymore because this seems creepy. Um, I don't think that I want to work here anymore. I'm probably going to give my boss a call. I just closed down. And I'm gonna give him a call in the morning and let him know that I'm probably not good for this job. I'm probably going to head home now because this is this is definitely creeping me out. Um, Mr. Brookhaven is not to mess around with. I really don't know what his intentions are. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you all enjoyed it. I, what do you guys think? Should I keep my job or should I quit? Let me know in the comment section below. I love you all so much. I'm gonna see you soon with another video. Bye!